this next one is huge. And man, am I glad that we got a panel for this one. Because this, in the in the illustrious words of the dental, this could get spicy like hotcakes or whatever the hell he used to say. Um, and I, I don't really know what he means by that. All right, Verizon, T-Mobile, reportedly lose 4.9 gigahertz battle to AT&T's first net. Moose, time to take your victory lap, sir. It is time. <laughs> Cue the music, DJ. Go ahead, Moose. Jump in. 4.9 gigahertz, uh, gigahertz of bandwidth. Go ahead. What did I tell you? I mean, have I ever lost? Jesus. <laughs> like, it's, it's like we've... Sneed, Sneed reported on it. it. It was just a matter of time. It was a matter Actually, of time. We lost that frontier bid, big dog. Yeah, the frontier one. The frontier one was uh, interesting, but and the FIFA. Somebody one. was going to buy it. Somebody was going to buy it. But this one is big because now I'm uh, rubbing my hands together, and uh, <laughs> it's about to get very interesting. I, uh, Does this yeah. put AT and T in a catbird seat for a boost in the five G side of things? Like, you know, you've got yeah. Verizon all in on C band. They're doing some millimeter wave. You've got T Mobile basically punting millimeter wave. Yeah, uh, they're all That's in on huge. the forty one piece, right? We got to talk about now, that too, right? Yeah. And then, and then in in the case of AT and T, they've got the N seventy seven piece in a couple of channels. Although and now N seventy nine confirmed now with N seventy nine. So do we do we now say that? this in a way kind of levels the playing field. So let me just add a little bit more context to that. <clears throat> Six plus million connections will now be defaulting to band 14 and N79. That's huge because now instead of you having to just have a network slice to put these customers in, okay, you have dedicated spectrum that they can be put onto those at all times, right? So for example, when I'm testing a FirstNet SIM, it is always going to default to band 14. Band 12 is very rarely aggregated, right? On NSA mode. I've been also testing SA mode. That's gonna be very interesting, right? Because now what the plans are sometime in 26, 27, and 14 is gonna be turned online. Uh, it's going to default to N14 and N79, right? And then all the other uh, carrier bands that are going to be a, a um, transition from LTE to 5G SA, right? So this is big. <clears throat> um, it, you know, it's going to present a very interesting situation, Cha Cha, in terms of the spacing on the tower, right? The actual rack. I think now it's even more evident that you're going to be seeing either one or two options are going to happen. One, there's going to be a tri antenna uh, situation on that mid band uh, that is currently in this in the place right now. You're going to have a tri antenna, right? So at the very top, you're going to have 4.9. Right below that, you're going to have uh, the uh, the three uh, yeah the 3.7, and then right below that, you'll have the 3.45 antenna. Or alternatively, you're going to have still two antennas, but you're going to have a combo antenna, right? 3.45, 3.7, and a 4.9 dedicated antenna. Can I give you my take on that, Moose? Say that again? Can I give you my take on that? Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I think it's going to be the integrated 3 gigahertz as one single radio antenna, and then I think it's going to be a 4.9 piece. So I think it's going to be that setup. Just my prediction. Um, I, I think I, can, I, I think I, can, a, I think a tri band is a little bit extreme. I mean, because we're talking about radio power restrictions, right? Like, there's only so much power to go around on a single piece of hardware. So, what do you think, uh, Zero Cool? Right. Yeah, that's that's correct. Right. So you had different power levels and different bandwidths. Right. So how it's going to be um, to start was is going to be it's going to be two antennas. One's going to be your three gigahertz, and one's going to be your four point nine. Um, and that's the reason why that that's you know exactly the reason why that is. And uh, event, Zero Cool, would you expect the four point nine to go up higher, much higher on the rack? It's not. It's not really position of. Well, I mean it. 
it's going to go pretty much where the three the three gigahertz stuff is right now. Okay. Um, they kind of have they kind of tear it in the way like you have your millimeter wave, then your you know your mid band, then your low band, right? So, um, uh, basically, uh, it, eventually it's going to be a single antenna. Um, you know that can do different power levels, different you know bandwidths and stuff, but we're not there yet. So.